good? This is Helen's Angels, and I'm coming back with a programming special for you guys today. We're going deep in, we're diving real deep in. Tune in. Today, the program we're working on is a Roman numeral conversion program. We want to take an, an ordinary integer and convert it to a Roman numeral. So follow along, enjoy the music, and let me know what next algorithm you guys want me to work on so of course uh, I love to put doc strings doc strings in every single one of my uh, functions and modules uh, and I also like to get a good scope of what functions I will be writing without necessarily completely writing them uh, if you guys follow me you will eventually realize that this is probably a good practice because you want to know where you're going. Hey girl. Hmm. You ready? No. <laughs> I know you're ready. Well, alright. I guess you guys are ready. So what we're doing here is we're going to instantiate the variables that we're dealing with. In Roman numerals, you know that the M represents a thousand, the D, uh, etc. Um, and so I instantiate that in that certain way. So you can follow my style and follow after me. Write down exactly how I write the things and you can learn about that if you want more specific details. Uh, you'll have to ask me in the comments and I'll respond back to you. But at the end of the day, all you have to do is copy exactly what you see being written down here. Um, what I'm doing now is uh, creating the aspect of the algorithm that will check and see the exact value of the number that we're dealing with. So this program was actually uh, designed to handle numbers uh, in the thousands. I'll say uh, the ten thousands. Although, uh, I'm pretty sure that Roman numerals go higher than M or 1000. But for this program, we're only going to go up to 1000. Other programs that I actually saw uh, on YouTube already only go up to like 10. Some of them went up to, 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 uh, to I, mean, I think maybe 20. I decided I want to take this all the way up to 1000. That's right. And so I know you guys are used to a certain type of content on this channel, but things are changing. Um, I still have my angels, but I, I need to show you guys some other angels. Or rather, I should say other angles uh, in what I call my methodical matrix. And in this particular episode, I'm going to show you how I come up with my algorithms. This is a very simple one. Um, so that I could get you guys uh, started and primed on how uh, programming works and what you can actually do with it. This is something uh, that I wrote in order to not have to always look up the Roman numerals. Of course, I can kind of do it in my head, but sometimes I forget exactly what uh, the Roman numerals mean. So whenever you get things that you will be using quite often it's really really good to write a program to help you remember that so this is my program to help me uh, have access to all of the roman numerals that i will ever need so we'll have angels for days for now uh wait a minute <laughs> this is how some of you guys are probably probably looking as you're uh, trying to understand exactly what it is that I'm writing, but it's really, really simple. It's it's just like English. A few uh, other mathematical qualities. Uh, notice how I use the keywords if, else, elif, def, and pass. Also, return. All those are what we call keywords in Python. Parentheses are very important 
in Python, they normally uh, let you know that there is a function about. Uh, they can also be used to establish what's called a tuple. Quotes are also very important in Python. They are used to establish uh, a string, to create a string. As far as integers go, you don't need to put any type of quotes or parentheses around them. You can just actually type those numbers in. So we, uh, I call that Hindu Arabic. Call that other uh, function Hindu Arabic because <laughs> that was just the best name I could think of. Um, and. I, Somewhere along the line, I learned that our numbers come from the Hindu Arabic system. All right, so we are almost done here with this Hindu Arabic function. Uh, the function before it was, uh, uh, well, it's called the M M D C L. XVI function and it essentially uh, runs all the logic to transform a normal Hindu Arabic number into the ancient Roman numeral. And so what we're doing here is now we are creating a Roman numeral function. It's always a good programming practice to name at least one function. Um, the same name as the file. The name of this file is actually. And we're done.